Hello everyone, I hope you're well. Now today's video once again features our local praying mantis Kung Fu Sifu Cameron Hurst. Now in this clip he was taking us through um, some basics of their, their sticking hand drills, the, the way they connect with punches and deflect and, and uh, basically control an attacker. But what soon became apparent was that the, the core body movement behind it was identical to what we commonly use in Aikido. I'm sure all of your senseis have said to you at some point, keep everything in front of your center, turn from your center, don't use your arms, use your body movement. This is exactly what is on display here and he does it beautifully. Have a watch right through to the end because there's some very, very interesting details as he develops this idea. And I, I hope you find this useful. If you do, it doesn't cost you anything. Smash the subscribe, the like, all that kind of stuff. And thank you very much for watching. What's that, so? And he's punching. So my other hands, I keep it here so I can block my face or when he punches, even if I'm slow, I can come to here. Just keeping it close, it's, it's, it's basic stuff, right? But when I know that the punch is coming in, I'm actually intercepting the punch. Okay, so what we can do now, we can go to the next level. That's the Diao Shou. We can add the Jin, the, uh, the attack. Jin just means to enter. So this might be a little bit confusing at first. We just do it in a static position. One, now he punches. Two. Okay, he's gonna punch again. One, two. One, two. I'm just using the one hand, so I'm grabbing here if he punches, I'm intercepting, pulling, then rather than coming with the other hand, which we just did, I'm using the same hand to attack. Okay, now if he punches and he doesn't do anything, I still attack. Okay, that's Diao Jin. So you've got a block kind of already encapsulated in the idea all right so in with your partners we're just going to do the one side okay If we want to change, if he you punch again, then I can just change sides here. Okay, let's give it a go. So then you punch, and if I block him in the hand too high up, he's just going to come through with that. Right? Whereas if I block him at the elbow, he can't come with the elbow as a secondary attack. Okay. Can I just say something from an IT point of view that I feeling that I wasn't seeing? Uh, Sifu is actually his, his elbow is underneath, so it's just like what Side was doing earlier. I'm actually going slightly up into my balance. It's not a compression down. So he's, 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 lift, he's actually lifting his back hips up. Intentional? Well, I mean, yeah. obviously you want that to happen. Yeah. You want to yeah. unbalance Especially your opponent. It's not like that kind of thing. It's, 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 no. 
And that's the thing, if I, if I hit him at the elbow, that force is gonna go through to the shoulder, which is gonna carry through, right? And we use that where we start to crowd the person up and then we follow up with a secondary strike. Um, a more, in Mantis terms, this would be a, a quite a basic kind of drill. We have a slightly more complex version, which we normally use, where we, we have what we call a circular drill, where we alternate between the person punching and the person blocking, two punches and then gouge in. Um, but I think what you're doing there is enough to give you the idea of what it is that we're trying to talk about when we say gyal, deflect or redirect, and jin enter. More complex from there, so you can see, um, you know, Kung Fu in general gets quite in depth into a lot of that hand movement type stuff. Um, from there, we would we would go into some of our um, other sticking hand drills where we're, we start to clear from under the hand and grab, and then we have what is actually referred to as our sticking hands, where we're striking at the neck. Okay, so there's lots of different steps. In the Mantis system, we have um, 13 sticking hand drills. So that's one of them. There's another 12 that go over kind of different combinations and different variations. But the idea was just to let you see kind of from a Mantis point of view how we, how we kind of conceptualize the deflection, what we're trying to do with our hand. You can see there's different ways that we utilize it, whether it's kind of pulling across and in, or we're more kind of deflecting down to our armpit area, and then also using that energy. Okay, so if, if you can remember those three movements, um, as you get more, more familiar with it, it's a nice little drill to do. It's not a high uh, impact power two-man drill. The idea is not to go hardcore in terms of trying to punch your opponent, you want to feel the flow of the drill. So when you have two people that start to get more familiar with it, you start to hear a rhythm in it. It starts to go, do, 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 do. it's like a heartbeat almost, because you're doing the one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then you start to feel that, that spiral energy, that movement in your hips. So if you get a chance to Keep practicing it. Um, it's a nice little one just to kind of remind yourself from a Kung Fu perspective, from a Seven Star Play Mantis perspective, how we utilize our um, center of gravity, our hips, and the energy in our arms. Okay, so it's, it's going to be a lot different to something like karate, where there's a lot of tension in the arms. We're really using the energy from our, our dantian, our, you know our core, I guess you could say, and then the arms are really just transmitting that energy. And that's why some people say Kung Fu is more akin to a, a rock on a, on a rope as opposed to a baseball bat. Mm -hmm. All right, so we'll just finish off in the traditional way. And if you've got any questions, you can always ask me after. Thanks. Get together.